I would like to introduce the R82 Mustang. The Mustang is an anterior, posterior gait trainer that is available in four sizes. The size one has an axle height of 15 and three quarter inches with a seat that will go as low as six and three quarter inches from the floor. The size four will have an axle height of up to 51 and a quarter inch with a max user weight of 176 pounds. I would like to discuss some of these standard features of the Mustang. Each Mustang comes equipped with four directional wheels. You have a choice of four inch or eight inch wheels. Each wheel will come standard with a directional lock by simply rotating the spring-loaded swivel lock. And you will notice there's a dial in the center of the wheel. The dial is used to control the resistance of the wheel. By turning the dial clockwise, you increase the resistance. And by turning it counterclockwise, you reduce the resistance of the wheel. If you will notice on the outside of each caster is a red tab. This is an anti-reverse wheel stop, which allows you to go forward, but does not allow the wheel to go backwards. And you will notice they're on all four wheels. So whether you're using this in anterior or posterior, you will always have control of the wheel. And most importantly, the wheel locks are the gray tabs that you see by simply pressing, you're able to lock the wheel. And by pressing the red tab, you're able to unlock the wheel. Another standard feature of the Mustang is the height adjustment, which is operated by this pedal. By pressing the pedal, I'm able to adjust the height of the unit. is a gas piston so I can stop this at any interval. Another feature to accommodate that is the ability to tilt the support. By rotating the dial clockwise, I'm able to give anterior tilt, and by rotating the dial counterclockwise, I'm able to give the unit posterior tilt. Another standard feature of the Mustang is the height and width adjustable chest support. Adjustments are made easy with a five millimeter T-handle hex key, which comes with each Mustang. To adjust the height of the chest support, you loosen the muff collar. And once you reach your desired height, you tighten the collar. To adjust the width of the chest support, you loosen the two five millimeter bolts located on the front of the chest support and this allows width adjustment. Once you reach your desired width, you tighten your bolts back. Another unique feature of the chest support is the shape in the design. It is designed to duplicate two hands around a user's trunk. By simply adjusting the front hinges, you're able to change the angle of the chest support. And once you reach that angle, you can tighten the hinges. Remember to leave the rear hinges slightly looser so you are able to open and close the trunk support for loading and unloading your user. Once your user is in place, you can use the Velcro to adjust the rear hinges to hold that position around your user's trunk. I would like to discuss some of the accessories available for the Mustang. One of the accessories is the armrest. The armrest have several adjustments that are available. One is the depth adjustment of your hand grip, as well as the angle adjustment and simply tighten it once you reach your desired angle. The next is the articulation of the arm pad itself. By loosening the five millimeter bolt on the bottom of the arm pad, you're able to adjust the angle of the pad. Once you reach your desired angle, you can tighten it back. And the final adjustment on the armrest is the width adjustment. 
You can adjust them together or individually. And once you reach that desired width, you simply tighten it back. The next accessory for the Mustang I'd like to discuss is the seat, which is a height adjustable seat. By loosening the seat, you're able to adjust the vertical height of the seat. And for users that require additional support, this particular unit has a width adjustable hip support, which features a two-step safety system. There is a lever that you loosen and there's a pull pin underneath the seat. Once you place the support into the seat, you release your pin and you tighten your lever. If width adjustment is required, simply loosen the five millimeter bolts on the rear of the seat, which will allow for width adjustment, as well as height adjustment on the hip support pads. Now I'd like to discuss the leg separator. The leg separator is used to prevent a user's legs from crossing or scissoring. This is a height adjustable feature that is easily removed when not needed by simply loosening the five millimeter bolt in the center of the frame. You're able to remove it or adjust the height. Another accessory available for the Mustang when it comes to assisting with lower leg alignment is the ankle guide system. The ankle support strap will Velcro around the ankle or lower leg of the user, which has two features. One is the tether that will allow you to adjust the lower leg alignment of the user. The second feature is a slide feature, which will allow you to adjust or control the stride of the user. Another extremely unique accessory for the Mustang is a headrest. The headrest attaches to the hip support. By connecting the hip support with the two-step safety feature, you're able to lock the headrest in place. The headrest has a couple of options. One is a toolless swing away or flip back. The second is a multi angle adjustment. By simply loosening the five millimeter bolts, you can give the user support at multiple angles. And once you reach the desired angle, you simply lock the hinges down. For the complete order form for the R82 Mustang, as well as additional accessories and product features, please visit our website, 